Hi guys, I'm Elliot, part of the product management team here at Soundcraft. Speaking to you today from Potter's Bar, England, Soundcraft HQ. And in front of me, I have a very lovely SI Expression 3. Now, if you're familiar with one of these, you would have heard the phrase 66 inputs to the mix thrown around quite a lot. And you might think, what does that mean? There's only 32 on the back. But never fear, I'm going to explain how we can use this mix capacity to our advantage, even if we haven't got a stage box on the system and just using the local I.O. So, let's get stuck in. Now, before we get started, we've got to think about two things, inputs and channels. When you get an expression out of the box, everything's patched one to one. So, the mic in input one will come out of channel one, here. That's just like an analog board, but it doesn't have to be that way anymore. We can patch any input to any channel. And, as we're going to show you, I can patch the same input to two channels or more. Now, let's put ourselves in this scenario. I've got 12 inputs coming from the stage for an analog multi-core patched one-to-one -one to these faders on layer A. I've also got five monitors plugged into the system here. Now, through front of the house, everything sounds pretty good. I've got some EQ happening, some nice compression going on, and Everything sounds great, but my monitoring could be better. My bass guitarist is marrying that his bass is too compressed. And my vocalist is saying that her voice is very toppy. So I don't want to address these problems and sacrifice my front of house mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into layer B here, and I'm going to treat this layer as just my monitor layer for my monitors. So I'm going to select channel one, and go to the touch screen here. I'm going to tap inputs, scroll down to input patch. I'm going to move the cursor all the way to the left and assign channel one on layer B to mic input one. Like that. Now you can see my kick channel is now going to this fader on layer B. Do the same for the rest of the channels. I could either do that one at a time or I could just press auto complete. Now, all of my inputs are double patched across layer B, my monitor layer. I can now begin to address my musician's issues, such as turn down the high end on my female vocalist. I could leave the compression off my bass guitar. Keep, I'm going to EQ, give my guitarist an EQ to their satisfaction. And none of this affects my front of house EQ, which still sounds great. Now, we're not quite done yet. What you've now got to do is we've got to enter our musicians' mixes and turn down these signals on layer A and raise them up on B, which is now my monitor layer, where everything sounds good. So I do the same for mix two, turn down my layer A, bring them up on B, where everything sounds better. Now, if I want to get fancy, I can just hold down clear and press the mix key here and that resets the mix, and I can then raise them up again on B, my monitor layer. Now my musicians are hearing what they want to hear, all the issues have been corrected and they're all happy. And I'm happy because my front of the house sounds great. Now, there's one more thing I've got to do. I don't want to turn up my monitor layer into the front of the house, because that will just conflict with my front of the house signal. So, just to be safe, I'm going to unassign my monitor channels from the front of the house. So I'm going to hold down my left right key here and deselect all of these channels. So now I can raise the faders up and it's not going to affect my left right. Now how does this relate to 66 inputs to mix? Well at the beginning of the video I was mixing 12 inputs but because I double patched everything I'm now mixing 24 inputs. That just goes to show how powerful an SI expression is under the hood. And of course, you can do this on an SI compact and an SI performer as well. You've just got to bear in mind the total mix capacity of these consoles. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking into this YouTube video. Check back to the site for more. And uh, until next time, happy mixing.